Hello. The confinement seems to be the word we hear everywhere around us. In the province of Quebec, uh, the government will reopen schools soon and some commerce. In Ontario, uh, Premier Doug Ford has said that he cannot keep the cottage owner at home forever. We need to reopen the province, the country. In the U.S., well, it's all about going to the beach, the park, and businesses, and don't get me started with the NHL with their crazy scenarios of playing in the same place. And it's obvious it's all about business. It's all about the money. Mm. I'm not an expert on this field, so I will not give you advice what you should do or should not do besides, the f besides then listen to fi facts, listen to specialists, listen to science. My reflection is more like hearing people and, and how it seemed that we got tired of this COVID-19 crisis after 50 plus days of confinement. Um, it's the feeling that, okay, we have weighed sufficiently. We want a solution now. A little like uh, I got an headache, I take an aspirin, and 15 minutes later, I feel good. And we can see that for other problems, this kind of uh, attitude. I'm overweight, well, give me some pills and I don't have to think about it. Uh, there's pollution outside, well, bring some kind of device and it will be solved. Um, I think we human beings want quick fixes for complex problems. And this way of seeing the world, of thinking, can be seen also when it comes to faith. Uh, when you listen to some of the critics of religion, one of the things you will hear is, oh, I prayed once for uh, this job or the recovery of uh, a partner, and it did not happen. So it, religion is just hogwash. Or uh, I went to worship once. Uh, it was boring. Uh, people did not talk to me. God did not show up in my life. So I will never go back again. Yes, all those experiences are sad. And uh, let's be honest. Congregation, churches as a whole made up of human beings that are far from being perfect, very far. But the truth is there's no magic pills that will solve all our problems immediately. Faith, spirituality, it's a question of a lifestyle. It's this accumulation of those all little things and at the ends we believe that it's more positive than negative. Oh, it's not easy always. Oh, no, 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 no. Sometimes it, it, it calls for sacrifice. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's very frustrating. Yes. But um, what we're invited to do is to focus. Look at the big picture. Look at the ultimate end. And for us who believe in God who want to follow into the footstep of Jesus is the building of a better world for all. Not me, not a quick solution that will bring more problems, a better world. And it means a lot of work. It means time. We cannot change humankind in 15 minutes. It would be wonderful. I doubt it will happen. So my friend, first of all, be careful, be smart, and listen, listen to professionals for the advice of professionals. Also, do the right thing. And maybe it will not show results immediately. Maybe it will be frustrating. Maybe it, you wish it would go faster. Maybe not. 
but do the right thing this week, this month. Continue to live according to your faith, to your spirituality, and don't give up. It does not always show, but it makes a difference. Take care of yourself, and bye-bye.